everybody and welcome to Happy Trails Hiking. Today I am at Gypsum City OHV Park in Fort Dodge, Iowa. I'm gonna do some trails of a different kind today. Special thanks to Dan and Joan Clean of the Iowa OHV Association for bringing their equipment and expertise. We also have uh, the tracks that are around here. This is our big MX track, uh, motocross track, it's a mile and a half long. And then we have two um, starter slash youth tracks over here. And then we have a su uh, amateur um, super cross track um, that's new last year. It's been two years already. So if you've been following Matt and I for a long time, you'll know that we used to ride a Honda Goldwing. Well, these are a little different. And the trails we're going on today are definitely not something that we would have ridden on the Goldwing. Here we go. So all the trails are two way, except for one. Okay. And it is definitely marked that it is a one way trail. So um, we did that for two reasons. Uh, one, to double your mileage in a sense, obviously you're going one way, it's different coming back the other. And then it does keep the speed down because you never know if someone's coming around that corner. So. Sure. Is there a speed limit? No. Nope. Not okay. On, not on the trails, just in the parking lot. Gotcha. Yeah. I just did some fresh dirt work here with my excavator. Oh, gotcha. That's what all that is. <laughs> Lots of trail maintenance out here, I guess. Yes, that is. One thing that I learned while riding the trails with Tasha is that she puts her whole heart into her work. This place is her baby. With almost 800 acres and 60 miles of trails, there isn't one that she hasn't touched. We're coming up on the campground now. It has 33 sites and some tiny homes that she designed herself. This is going to be one of my favorite spots oh, right here. <laughs> that's excellent. Yep. Look at that. So there are fish in these ponds. Um, that's our second highest use out here is um, fishing. fishing. Mm -hmm. And I made a day parking lot here in the campground so people can actually walk down to the ponds down if they the don't pond. have a machine. Nice. Yeah. So we have the three tiny homes here. Um, each of them have a theme. So this is the bunkhouse. It sleeps four. Um, and it is $75 a night. This is ADA accessible, sleeps two, and that one's also 75 a night. And then um, the last one there is the mill house, and that one is $50 a night and sleeps two. And they all have um, a full function, or uh, let's see, a full shower, bat, uh, toilet, uh, kitchen area, um, microwave, and a bigger than a dorm fridge. So one of the you have a freezer on it. Yeah, so the one in the mill house is actually a dorm fridge, but the other, these two are um, bigger uh, fridges and freezers. So this one is called the mill house. They all of a sudden popped up. So yeah. these two ponds that we drove by back here. So, sure. And this was actually found on the MX track when we were doing dirt oh, work. Cool. So that's actual... That's actual what they what uh -huh. they used, and then um, these pictures I got, um, these were 1950 mining pictures wow. that I got from USG. That's cool. As you can see here, there's beauty to be found in these reclaimed mining lands. Yeah. So. That's that's lovely. Yeah. I can see favorite. why it's your favorite part. Yeah, one of my favorite parts. This bridge was not cheap, but it was very necessary because um so as you can see we're going up and then we're gonna go back down and there was just nowhere for the water to go at all. Oh, okay. And um 
so it was a bridge was the only answer and I've actually built five of them out here mm. uh, just because there's just nowhere for the water to go We met up as a group to take a look at the machinery that Tasha uses to build these trails. Well, I just, I figured it'd be nice to stop, um, get out for a second and show you what um, is the main piece of equipment out here. So this is a Sutter Dozer 500 is what it's called. Um, it's got a six way blade on the front of it. And then um, I do, it comes with different attachments on the back that you can get, but I do have the ripper and it is nice. So for the people that came from this way, you can definitely tell the difference from, I obviously just worked this yesterday, to um, what's going to be ahead of us is obviously not worked at all. So um, mm -hmm. it this comes in handy for that. Um, it you know I can doze a lot with the blade, but definitely ripping it first makes it a lot easier um, to do with the finishing work and everything. So. All right, we're at the office ready now. Let's go. Ranger Eddie had a smaller OHV that could go on some of the smaller trails that Tasha's side-by-side -side couldn't go on. So, one of the other riders switched places with me so I could get a little more excitement. As you can see, the terrain was a little bit different on these smaller trails. It was a blast. All right, straight uphill. Gypsum City OHV Park is located at 2390 Mill Road in Fort Dodge, Iowa. For more information, please contact the Webster County Conservation Department. The things that are required to ride are an Iowa DNR registration on your machine, an ATV certification for those ages 12 to 17, sound decibels of 96 max, and Every rider must have a helmet. So we are finishing our adventure here at the OHV park in the rain. 
Well, it got a little wet, but man, it's an excellent park and you should come out here and do this if you have a chance. Information will be in the description of the video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Till next time, thanks for watching.